Okay, so now that we can finally get into the finishes of this project, my first order of business is restoring that closet for the master bedroom. If you remember, we had to cut into that closet to build our stairway that goes up to the second story. And ever since, it's kind of been a mess. The uh, closet has spilled out into our master bedroom and we've got some clothes just kind of hanging out here. And uh, we've got that closet that is ready to go. Uh, as you can see, the stairs are there. Uh, we've got a little bit of a, a walk-in nook over here. I'm gonna get this all drywalled out. First of all, I gotta get all the stuff out of here that we've kind of been storing to use this space, but we're gonna have to get creative too because we've got the pipe from the drain upstairs coming through. I've also got a vent up in this corner that I'm gonna have to box out, but uh, I've got a lot of the shelving material from before. So first thing I'm gonna do is get all this stuff out of here, but I'm gonna rock uh, everything that is uh, not covered here. Right, so we got one wall done in this closet. We've got a lot of work left to do. But uh, one thing I wanted to share was that before you put this drywall onto the wall, you absolutely want to find your studs uh, and mark them on the ground. That way, once the drywall is on the wall, you can take a level and make a pencil mark all the way up the drywall so you know exactly where to screw to hold it on there firmly. So the next step in this is to mud and tape. First, you put the tape down on these seams, then you mud them. You mud every, every little bit of this. Uh, I've got a friend across the street who is really good at it and he's volunteered some time so he's going to come over here and give me a hand with that here in a couple hours. But before he does, I want to hurry up and get as much of this on, the actual rock on the uh, closet, all the way through inside this inside space as well so that when he comes we've got a lot of, a lot of work to do. So it's about to get messy and it's about to get, uh, get muddy around here. Right buddy? Yeah. Alright, let's get some travel on this wall. Okay. All right, so I had my friend Costa over here earlier and he was able to do a lot of taping and mudding. Uh, looks really good. It's starting to look like a room. Uh, yeah. We got everything taped and mudded throughout the closet. Looks really nice, but it's a little rough. It's only one coat of mud on everything and there's a lot of spots where you can see some, some voids and you can see this corner popping up a little bit but we need to do another coat add a little bit of dish soap and when you do that you're able to kind of get a better texture and it becomes a little less porous and a lot more smooth so that you don't have the bubbles. That's another trick I learned from my neighbors. So I'm applying that right now. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna second coat everything that we did yesterday uh, to make this all a little bit smoother. And then the roughness we got going on here, the second coat is really doing a good work. So I'm hoping I could just do a second coat, get it a good sand, and then put the texture on this so that I could paint it. We'll see how it goes. So we got two coats of mud on everything and I'm going through now and I am sanding what we have. So see here it's kind of, kind of smooth, coming down to these rough areas. Just kind of go over real quick. All right, so I stepped outside away from the uh, dust for a minute to make my texture. Uh, I've got the mud here, I've got a bucket, and I've got a scooper. I'm gonna scoop a bunch of mud in this bucket, add some water. Um, from what my research tells me, it should be like a pancake batter. So I'm gonna mix it up until it's uh, until it's pretty liquidy, so that I can pour it into a uh, paint uh, dish and swab it on the wall with a roller. So we'll see how it works out. I'm gonna mix it up now and we'll start putting it on the wall.
right, so my walls are up and finished painted. In this next episode, we're going to be carrying out these shelves and moving, putting them back up where I can. I'm going to be hiding that uh, stand pipe for the plumbing and also building a uh, soffit around this bottom area right here and also this vent from the kitchen back over here. For, for, uh, for a first time drywall job, I think it turned out pretty good. All of my walls are in and painted and textured. Got this little spot back here where we're going to be able to have some, some uh, additional storage space. So we're going to get these shelves done on mostly this wall. That's going to be all shelves to kind of reflect this side in the next episode and bring this closet back to life.